Is your name mummy? Remember who you are. When we're in public, um, as mums, when we're out with our children or anywhere really, you hear mummy, mum, you know, and we often all look around because we're all called the same name now. What happened to what happened to my name? I'm Lucy. I'm just suddenly we're all called mummy, <laughs> and it's the same for dads too. And I had some thoughts on that that I wanted to share with you today because it's really important that we actually do remember who we are. Of course you're mummy and of course being a mum is now a huge and very important part of your identity and I'm not suggesting you lose that at all. But let's just dial back in who you are. Right now just say your name, your own name in your head or out loud and just think who you are. So. First of all, I want to ask this question. Who is Sarah? <laughs> Who is Rachel? Who is Lucy? Because you're not just mum, wife, friend, co-worker. You know, of course you are all those things. You probably wear all these hats, but who is you? <laughs> who are you? Um, I want you to write down five things that describe you that have nothing else to do with parenting at all. In no way to do with parenting. So this might mean you have to think back to before you were a parent, um, although your tastes and ideas may have changed somewhat, so it could be things that you're thinking ahead about, but what describes you? What are you about? If you had to describe yourself, if you had to pick out three to five key words that describe you, who are you? Write them down, it's so powerful. Don't just think about this. Write them down and identify yourself. <laughs> the second thing I want you to do is ask yourself the question, what am I passionate about? Because when you are in a lifestyle of nappies and laundry and feeding and preparing meals and more laundry and ironing and shopping and school runs and clubs and taxiing people everywhere, whatever it may be, um, you can suddenly forget, actually, what, what am I passionate about? What I, I do this stuff because I love my family and I care, but what am I passionate about? So I want you to think about that. What are you passionate about? What is it that's for you, just for you, that you are passionate about? That's another one you might want to stop, take some time, write the question down, what am I passionate about? And take some time and just Scribble out anything that comes to mind. There is no wrong answer. You don't have to coin the perfect answer to this. Just whatever flows, because things might flow and then you'll suddenly go, oh, that's what I'm passionate about. And it just comes to you and you think, that's it. That's the thing. Next question I want you to ask yourself is what are you good at? Other than being a mum, obviously you're brilliant at that. And other than being a great wife and a great friend and a great coworker, what are you good at that's totally irrelevant to serving somebody else in that kind of family mum role model way. What are you good at? Are you good at, for instance, arts and crafts? Are you good at sailing? Are you good at painting? Are you good at designing interior, I don't know, the interior design? Um, what you, it could be anything, it could be absolutely anything. But you need to identify what you're good at and go, yeah, I'm, I'm good at that. I actually am good at that. And I hope it's actually something you enjoy as well. Maybe you're good at something that you actually despise doing. But it doesn't matter. What are you good at? Next question I have for you, and this kind of ties the last two questions in. What is a hobby that you would do, something that's for fun, entirely for fun, without any you know, obligation or business interest at all for anybody else. It's entirely for fun and it's entirely for you and it's a hobby. What is one that you don't currently do that you would do if it could be anything? And I mean anything, it can be as wild as you like. But what is one hobby that you would take on? There's something you could do weekly, I mean. So a, a hobby that you could bring into your life as a weekly thing. Um, entirely for you. Maybe it would be to play the piano, maybe it would be to get tennis lessons and or play, just play tennis. Maybe it would be um, a, a more arty hobby, maybe it would be pottery making. What would you do if you could have any new hobby that's 
to do nothing but give you pleasure and that's it. And my last question for you is the big one really and this one is where you get the freedom to go as crazy and outrageous as you want. What is one dream that you've parked, you've put aside, you've gone yeah right no chance now I'm a mama mum <laughs> you know what is actually a dream that you either have had and parked or haven't even dared to dream what is one dream that you'd love to pursue and even if you think but I know I absolutely never can you know even if that's what you're feeling I don't care just what would it be hypothetically I believe that there's always a way but even if you think no I there's not though, because it's, I don't know, to skydive and I've got an injury that means I can't do that. I mean, you know, even if you have got a significant blocker in your mind about this dream, forget, I want you to remove every single blocker there is and just put it on paper anyway. A dream you haven't dared to dream, a dream you've parked or given up on, a dream that you would just love to pursue if there were no, no things in this world to block that dream, what would that be? And write that down as well. And if you can do this exercise, if you can take all these things and write those down, you're not only gonna find a little bit more out about who you are, self-discovery here, you're gonna understand more about what you're passionate about, what your dreams are, what you love to do, and just what you're about beyond being mummy. So, the message here is remember your name <laughs> and remember who you are.